Hello YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And in today's video, C is for Cookie, C is for Cyrus, and C is for Community, because we're gonna talk about all three of those Cs today, as a new Arcade 1-Up cab has potentially appeared online, which looks to be a collaboration cab, but it isn't what you think it is. <laughs> That's right guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at the absolute bizarre Arcade 1UP Pac-Man X Oreo cab that has appeared online and talk about what it really is and why the community shouldn't get too crazy about it. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much everybody for checking out the videos. Guys, I always appreciate the support. If this is your first time to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. All that YouTube jazz! So guys, I kind of feel like a broken record here, and I'm exactly showing the same video I showed yesterday to explain that Arcade 1UP skipped this year's CES. We usually get announcements from them in January about what the upcoming year's lineup is going to look like from the start, but with no news, the community is completely up in arms and rumors are flying everywhere. So that's why when news broke just two days ago about a new cab showing up online that was Oreo X Pac-Man Arcade 1UP, people started to lose their minds. They were saying all kinds of crazy stuff like, that's it, get rid of Cyrus, Arcade 1UP can't make anything new. But is this actually something that's going to come out at retail or is it something completely different? So this isn't the first time we've seen a collaboration cab from RK1UP. This is something they're constantly doing. We remember the Supreme Mortal Kombat, the clot, disgusting, blood red, big blue Street Fighter. And here you have John D and RK1UP at Comic-Con this past year at the Kith booth sharing their Kith Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom 2 collaboration cab. So collab cabs are something that we've seen over and over again. So I'll go all the way back to Chinatown Market, which was their NBA Jam collab they did years ago. And this is something that Arcade 1UP is very passionate about. But when they do this, they really want to go with a hot trending brand that the kids would know. Not people like me, I, I'm in my mid-40s. But they're trying to reach out to a different demographic, a different population of people, not us old elder gamers. They're trying to reach out to the youth of today and get them interested in the products we are to expand their market share. That's what they usually do with their collaboration cabs. And for that, they try to get these hot, you know, exciting brands like Supreme, like we just talked about, Clot, Chinatown Market, uh, Steve Aoki. I don't know what any of these things are, but that's what Arcade 1UP reaches out to. So, of course, you take a look at the Oreo plus Pac-Man collaboration cab, and, and you immediately say, what a dumb collaboration, this is stupid. Guys, come on. Uh, I mean, Oreo, Oreos are awesome and stuff. Uh, I love Oreos. I love regular Oreos. For some reason, console kits, um, B-Kong, Rostalgia, they like the vanilla double-stuffed Oreos. I I've tinkered a bit. I've tried Snickledoodle or or Doodle Oreos, but I mean, Oreos isn't that kind of brand. It's not Supreme, it's not Clot, it's not Chinatown Market, uh, any Kith, any of these things, I don't know what they are that are hot trending uh, brand uh, tie-ins. This is just a, you know, children's cookie. So this isn't a collab cab, guys. I don't think this is going to be going to retail. In fact, no, this is part of a tie-in contest basically advertising Oreo's new Pac-Man cookies. So basically they're coming out with Pac-Man Oreos and to tie it in, there you can see the Pac-Man Oreos there with the cherries, the ghost. It's basically just Oreos with some Pac-Man characters on it. It's a collaboration between Pac-Man and Oreo and they run these games on the mobile app that you can play. And then they have a different assortment of prizes you can win. One of which is an Oreo Pac-Man skinned Pac-Man Arcade 1UP Deluxe Cabinet. They've also got some My Arcades that are Oreo X Pac-Man branded. And I don't even know what the hell that thing is over there. But anyways, uh, players, snack lovers, scan the barcodes on their Oreo packs to enter a competition with some seriously cool rewards. So basically, this is something that's set up by Bandai Namco and their partners. It's just skinned cabs. 
I mean, this isn't the first time we've even seen one of these, you know, throwaway contests. We all remember the Pizza Hut Pac-Man Plus Arcade 1-Up contest they did a couple years ago. That was pretty dope. You had a chance to win a Pizza Hut-inspired Pac-Man cab. I mean, if you were into it, it's something you could have won. I think it looks hideous, but to each their own. So this is more in the lines of this. Basically, a company has reached out to Bandai Namco, asked for prizes to go along with their cookie partnership, and then they worked with their partners like Arcade 1UP and My Arcade to make some products to go in the prizes. But anyways, uh, most people did even understand that this wasn't a retail cab or some kind of weird collab they were doing. Some people even understood it was a contest and they were still upset. There's our buddy Paul Minderman, NeoHyper64, who says, Cyrus must be stopped. Poor Cyrus is the new SVP of marketing and business development and de facto public force, uh, public forward face of the company is basically in the lashback now because people are upset. We have nothing new to talk about. So he's getting the brunt of the blame very unfairly. Obviously, this is just a contest. And as soon as Arcade 1UP announces something, people will stop being so critical. So there it is, guys. Pac-Man X Oreo collab, a cab being done by Arcade 1UP that's obviously set up by Bandai Namco and their collaboration with Oreos on a new Pac-Man Oreo cookie. This is not the brainchild of Arcade 1UP. You can stop trying to throw Cyrus to the wolves. This is not even his brainchild. It's just a mini contest that they're doing. I know for a fact Arcade 1UP does this stuff all the time. I used to have a friend here in Canada that was a Moosehead representative. I put him in touch with Arcade 1UP and he set up like a Moosehead X Pac-Man collaboration. All it was was a Moosehead skin cab that they gave away as part of like an in-store specialty this stuff happens all the time not brainchilds of arcade one up just outside partnering opportunities so we don't need to worry too much about this what this means to us is literally nothing unless your kid likes oreos and possibly wants to win this cab it really it doesn't mean anything to us so the community can cool down i think the answer really right now is arcade one up do something. People are going crazy, making up all kinds of rumors that, you know, uh, you guys lost the licenses because John D left, which I talked about yesterday, and now freaking out because you guys did a collaboration that you did a partnership with your already existing partnership with Bandai Namco to help them with their partnership and collaboration they're doing with Oreo cookies. So, uh, you know, we're a month into January now. We usually have a lot to talk about with Arcade 1UP. Nothing so far. Hopefully we get some news soon so we can stop talking about this craziness going on in the community. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought when you saw the Pac-Man X Oreo cab. Did you think this was an actual collaboration they were doing, like a product they were actually going to be releasing? Did you blame Cyrus and think that this was his fault? Or do you agree with me? They just need to do something so we can get back to talking about the products they have coming out and seeing if we're interested or not. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching the video. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.